Welcome to this Draw My Life about the Deep Web. Before talking about all the mysteries and myths that surround the Deep Web, we're going to give it a definition. The Deep Web is filled with all the content that is not indexed by standard web search engines. In other words, dark and illegal content, what they don't want you to see or what could turn you into a criminal. There are several creepy stories and conspiracy theories about the Deep Web. We are going to talk about one of the scariest theories. The story begins in New Year's Eve. A boy decides to invite a friend of his to spend the night at his house because he was having family issues. The guest was an enthusiast of computers and he used to visit the deep web. So before they had finished having dinner, he went to his friend's bedroom. After a few minutes, he starts getting worried. Why was his friend spending so much time on his bedroom during a special night like New Year's Eve? He decides to call him, but the door is locked. His father and him decide to kick down the door they find the boy sitting in front of the computer. He's not moving. His eyes, mouth and ears are bleeding. He's dead. The father decides to call the police, but his son is trying to understand what happened. The dead boy had written on some papers all the websites that he had visited, such as a store for buying human blood, the dark book of Facebook-like social network, and a lot of horrible and gross pictures. The computer couldn't resist and it gets burned before they can do any research. The boy was traumatized after the incident. However, after a while he decided to investigate what happened to his friend. When he was checking all the files in his computer, he found a horrible surprise. He found a picture of his friend and himself at school, a stolen picture with a link. He was very scared, so he deleted everything. What would he find in that link? Something so terrible that could kill a person? There are a lot of myths about the deep web. Some of them are true, and some others are not. Let's clear up these doubts. The deep web is 90% of the internet. This is true. We can't access the majority of the internet content with Google. It's made by criminals and for criminals. This is not true. Everyone can gain access to this web. In fact, Tor is the most popular browser for getting in the deep web. It was made by the United States Naval Research Laboratory. And not all the content is linked to crime. You can only find weapons and drugs. This is not true. There are a lot of sales in the deep web. Of course we can find guns and drugs, but this is a very little part of the dark web. Don't download anything and don't talk to anybody. This is true. First of all, you should never visit the deep web. But if you do, remember that there are a lot of criminals as hackers looking for an easy target like you. The FBI is watching you. This is true. The FBI visits the deep web using fake accounts for catching people doing illegal transactions. You can find all kinds of content in the deep web. Very bad, but also interesting. However, you shouldn't take that risk. Anyone can be defrauded, arrested or harassed. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and tell us in the comment section down below what you would like to see next time.